Bronx in Mount Hope. I've been riding for, well, since 2007. I started riding in upstate New York, and then when I moved back down to New York City, um, I really got into it. And I come to advocacy from bike racing, actually. I race amateur road racing with uh, CRCA, which is the United States' largest bike racing club. We put on the races in Central Park. So you might have seen us out there in Lycra kit going real fast at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so this is the high bridge. It connects Washington Heights to the Bronx, the West Bronx. And this is one of my favorite places to come ride and walk because it is a pedestrian and cyclist only bridge. It's beautiful, as you can see. The only downside is that it's not open all the time. So for folks that actually rely on this for transportation, it's only open, I believe, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and only between May and November. If you really need to cross the East River for transportation or for your daily commute, your next best option is the Washington Bridge. It's the one that's a little bit higher up and that bridge is open 24 7 but the conditions there are just really terrible the washington bridge is actually the best harlem river crossing in my opinion because it connects the west bronx to the 181st corridor which now is a busway and it has a lot of transportation you know subway options but the problem with it is the pedestrian path is protected, but it's only three and a half feet wide. And right now there's poison ivy on it. There's a lot of debris. It's loud. When folks are passing each other, you have to like shimmy <laughs> to get past one another. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You see road construction cones end up in the pedestrian path because for whatever reason cars don't want to have them in their path. Let's put this back where it belongs. But there's six lanes for cars and so what we really need on there is a wider two-way bike lane ideally so that we're separating pedestrians from cyclists and then also add dedicated bus lanes. In all my years of crossing I've never had a negative interaction. Folks are kind to one another as they pass, they greet each other. But the folks in the Bronx really deserve a lot better. So right now we're in a part of the concourse that was renovated and you can see it's, there's planters and it's kind of pretty and there's a sidewalk median and the, the bike lane is on the side of the median so it's out of the door zone. The other thing though is I feel like this median is kind of wasted space because yeah the flowers are pretty but we could have had a linear park here, we could have had a wider protected bike lane. A lot of times the police will just park their personal vehicles right on the sidewalk median so you can't even use that space. This section of the Grand Concourse is great because as you can see there's actually car parking protected bike lanes up here so it's a lot safer. I don't necessarily wish there were more parking but I do wish that the rest of the concourse was protected in some manner whether it be with bollards or with a jersey barrier. Part of the Grand Concourse capital project uh, they did phases one through four, but south of 161st Street, which is where we're at, there's no plan at all. As you can see, there's no bike lane. The pedestrian infrastructure has improved somewhat. Once you get south of 161st, it's just a free-for-all and you're in a kind of no man's land here, which is pretty dangerous given all the car traffic that's down here. Always in it. That truck is always backed in there and you'll see he has plenty of space to pull up into his driveway, but he doesn't. Right now we're on the Randalls Island connector, which connects the South Bronx to Randalls Island that opened in 2015. It's a big deal because it's one of the few connections that folks in the South Bronx have to nice, uh, protected car-free bike lanes and park space. You know, Randalls Island is a great space for picnicking, playing baseball, soccer, you know, what have you. Um, and you'll see when we cross over to the Bronx side, all of a sudden the bike lanes just disappear. And that's kind of endemic to the Bronx. We have the fewest protected bike lanes out of all the boroughs. And then the bike lanes that we do have just stop suddenly. And then you end up somewhere like, where do I go? You know, what is this? crazy road with trucks and cars. And down below is a, a road called Depot Place, which is this bridge that has all the police cars parked on it right now. And it is the only 
uh, pedestrian and cyclist access to the Harlem River Greenway on the Bronx side that we have over here. And as you can see, the sidewalk is completely just used as police car and van parking. Um, and right now there's a petition happening to make sure that the city and the state create a, a safe protected path for cyclists and pedestrians to be able to access the Harlem River Greenway. Ultimately, I'd love to see more resources and infrastructure improvements here in the Bronx. I'd love to see a holistic, interconnected network of protected bike lanes, designated bus lanes, give folks in the Bronx an option other than cars to move themselves around. Because I think, you know, contrary to what some people believe, people in the Bronx would love to be out on their bikes and riding and taking transit but we need to, to have those options available in a safe manner in order for folks to really adopt it.